Hi guys. Um, so I decided since it's going to be a couple weeks before I can get a laptop laptop again, this is a Chromebook guys. I know, I know. And, um, so I could react to foodie beauty, foodie beauties videos, because I don't really want to react to Amberlynn Reed videos because I've always been kind of been a champion of hers and I've never talked bad about her. And I don't want to start because I feel like she's doing better now. Foodie Beauty is somebody I don't know anything about, really. I just started watching her literally just a couple weeks ago. And the only videos I've seen of hers are her sex with a homeless man video, which I have no problem with. I used to be homeless myself. A uh, threesome story. And I think I saw the one about her little... Um, food guru guy, spiritual, I talk to the spirits guy or whatever, you know, and I actually believe very strongly in supernatural things, but I think that's hogwash. So anyway, I just want to react to this video, the one that somebody told me to, and we'll see, and I'm going to do it like this because this is my option right now, guys. And I hope she doesn't get mad at me because I am not an outright angry, mean person to people just so you know, okay? And I promise you, I will be objective. Here's Chantel. Hey guys. so. <laughs> Hi, Chantel. I'm the greatest today, just kind of down. And I, I know what you mean. Medication kicking in, but I'm feeling really like. Medication kicking in? Zombie-ish. Zombie-ish. Like comfortably numb, <laughs> like this song. Comfortably um, numb. So this I like is that why song. I wanted to do the daily videos to be held accountable because she says she wants to I be held accountable, guys. Like today I wasn't gonna but do does she? Video. Does she? I've heard from people who are watching her long kinda, term like, that she doesn't. Just I've heard from people who've watched her for a while now that she doesn't want to be held accountable, and then if anybody tries to hold her accountable, she blocks them or she shuts off her comments or something. Is that true? See, going into this as somebody who knows nothing about Chantel, um, it's kind of hard for me at first, but I'm going to like watch back some of her stuff and see exactly what's going on with her. Not do videos for a while and just like... Not do videos. Keep binging every day. Oh. And she she has binge eating disorder also? All these vegetables that I bought and they're going to go bad, so... It's not an energetic. She bought a bunch of vegetables. I was hoping it would be. You can't buy a whole bunch of vegetables at once. They will go I bad. Like they have a short lifespan. I'll turn on the camera and make it a day one. A day one. She sounds and like Amberlynn Reed. Dig into this, these fruits and vegetables. Okay. And make that raw soup. So you guys, a lot of people raw soup. See what that would turn out like. Raw soup. I wanted to, regardless if anyone thinks it's a good plan or not, or it's crazy because the guy talks to a spirit, whatever. Okay, okay, that's what I want to talk to you guys about, okay? The guy talks to a spirit? So she's, um, what, asking a person who has a spiritual diet plan to help her? Is that what's going on? Because I heard a little bit of something on somebody's, um, I don't remember what app it was. But they have like a separate app that they talk about um, her and, and other people who are on diet plans and lifestyle change plans and stuff. And they were saying that she's ta consulting a man who speaks to a spirit, you know, like he's some kind of guru for diet. And I, I don't understand what's going on there, but it sounds a little kooky to me, right? <laughs> I don't understand. And that she's got her eating all vegetables and fruit. You can't just eat only vegetables and fruit. I mean, I'm a vegetarian. And I don't eat just vegetables and fruit alone. Um, I wanted to commit to doing it. And I have all the stuff. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do She's it. She's going to do it? She posted a um, new video, uh, I think, yesterday. Days. It sounds like she might not be going to do it. Uh, 28 days. 28 days. I canceled all my plans tonight. I had plans to go out with some friends I haven't seen in a while. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just don't really have the energy, and plus we would be going out to eat. Well, you should do they it. Wanted, it's a, another friend I haven't seen that she wanted to treat me for a belated birthday party as That's well. That's nice. And do I it. Had to cancel because she had to cancel. Uh, don't I don't cancel. Go to eat. Why? 
So, just because you're on a diet doesn't mean you can't go out to eat and make healthy option choices. I could just hang out with her. But you don't even I, I have to eat. Just get something today. to drink. So I'll see her another time, and I'm going to go yeah. with things. I need to don't come isolate up with yourself. It's not going to help do, you, girl. So that I'm not just doing things in my old habits that would remind me of eating. Because right now I just want to okay. eat. Like when I think of food, like that's all I want to do, you know? And it's just so hard. She seems it's really just, out of it. Like something is wrong with her, right? I think like. Did she say that was medication? I don't know what medication she takes. No I don't know much about her. Please let I'll me know. I always want to eat. It'll, it'll always be a ghost that haunts me. Well, you probably like, always want to eat because you know? if you don't, you'll die, girl. So. Everybody I'm wants to eat, but they don't want to eat 24 7, right? What's happening here? I don't like Probably that shirt. We're going to have some mangoes because they are actually ripe. The fruit is pretty ripe today, so I'm going to have some. Mangoes are good. I love and, mangoes. Um, yeah, I love all fruit bananas except bananas. So I'm gonna have oh, and then she pulls out a banana. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like bananas. And but every other fruit. Pear. Pear. That's an Anjou Just pear. Bruised up, but still good. Yeah, they get bruised easy. You got to be careful with them. So just give me. I don't like her shirt, guys. What is up with that shirt? Look, look at that strange shoulder situation going on. Conventional diet, but um, let's just conventional diet. See how it goes. So every day I'm gonna come on here and check in. And is she? It is pretty nice out. Maybe I'll go for a drive. Okay, guys, now I've been told by people that when she goes for drives, that that is when she binges and when she goes to fast food and stuff. So maybe that's not the best idea if, if driving, because she just said she wants to get away from things that remind her of overeating, right? But then she says, maybe I'll go for a drive. Isn't that like one of her triggers? Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't really seem like the greatest idea to me unless she's got some place to go and a goal, right? It's like I don't want to do anything without it involving food. Like that's sad. Her drive is only really pleasurable because I can get like a nice coffee. Okay. To eat. But that that's not. Then don't go for a drive. Find something else to do that doesn't remind you of food. Just being honest. It's right. That's feel. cool. That's cool. I don't feel like doing anything. If I can't eat, I just don't feel like doing anything. Wow. That's my mood right now. Wow. If you can't eat when you're doing something, then you don't feel like doing anything. That's sad. That, no, that's not the right mindset to be in. No, if you want to get healthy, you need to learn how to enjoy yourself without food. It's the same thing like when somebody is a drug addict or they drink compulsively or something, right? Because I used to do drugs and, and drink and I quit all that, right? I quit years ago. But mind you, you know... You can't be of the mindset that if I go out and I can't do drugs or drink in the place that I'm going with the people I'm going with, then you're never going to recover. No, you. that's why they tell people who are going through drug treatment, you need to find some sober friends, right? You need to find people that don't associate drinking with fun, right? You can't eat and, and do that every single time. That's terrible. And I, I see the parallels between that. Anyway, um, Blair, I'm just gonna. She seems kind of high I'm now. Me. I'm just gonna try is she really on, on, on medication that's making her act yeah. that way, or is this fake? I mean, because if your antidepressants or whatnot are doing that to you, you probably shouldn't be taking anymore. them. They're not the right ones for you. Just by the dislike ratio, I don't think people actually do enjoy them anymore. So I think I'm really? just gonna have to. I just started that watching that you, so I can't say. I don't like that she doesn't and have comments on. Maybe there's yeah, a reason for it. If you guys want to see me get healthy, then that's what I'll do. But, I mean, it's kind of a win-win, <laughs> you know. It's if we guys want to see her get healthy, then that is what she'll do. Why, why aren't you doing it for yourself? You got to do something like that for yourself before everybody else. And if you're not doing it for yourself, it's going to fail. You have to do it for yourself first and foremost. Not really a bad thing, I guess. So it is a really um, bad thing to think that way. Yeah. And so I'm 
gonna try that. Okay. So I'm, I'm sorry if I've been really moody. Um, is that typical or is that just lately? I, I don't know. I'm just really not in a good place mentally sometimes. And me neither. Sometimes you know, me neither. It's hard to keep my cool sometimes. Mm. So I will Temper? try to to be better at that. Um, okay. And some days I'm gonna be more happy, more excited, and some days I'm gonna be like today. Mm. Pretty, pretty zombie-ish. <laughs> well, you know, um, people's moods so, change from day right, to day. That's um, not just you. I think I'm That's everyone, this right? And then everyone has their bad to days. To just try to have more good than bad, right? She's going to go see her grandmother. Oh, I didn't know she had family. Then, I know Amber Lynn doesn't have, like, family that's, you know, but I thought that this girl had family. I'm thinking of going for a walk. Okay, really a walk might be better than a drive. But we'll see. Oh, excuse me. I'll see what the um, what it's like outside. Um, it's getting nicer. It's out. That stage where like everything is kind of. Where does she live, guys? Blah. What state is she in? So anyways, Do you know? Does anybody I just know? Keep thinking of Jamaica. That's like my Jamaica. focus. Jamaica, Jamaica, Jamaica. She wants to go to Jamaica. Um. Anyway, so what? I'll see you guys in a bit, guys. Oh, jeez. About the sun. It's very abrupt scene today. change. She's in the car, um, huh? I'm really not feeling Don't go for like a drive myself. and eat. I just feel like I'm really dizzy. And just dizzy. being in the store, I was like, oh my God, i got to get out of here. Like, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel right. Um, wow. I feel like just like, everything is just passing me by and I'm just like kind of outside of myself. If you're getting dizzy just walking around the I store, you might need to maybe, see a doctor. It might be a side effect of the medication because I've never felt this way before. What medication, guys? Um, what medication is making you so dizzy you can't shop? At the same time, I feel That's like the medication awful. is helping with anxiety. Okay. My mood. Like, I take anxiety medication. I know, like, I'm moody on here sometimes, but... Guys, I take anxiety medication, too, and I've never gotten dizzy enough where I was passing out in a store. I, I've never had that problem. I've never felt any of these things on anxiety medication. Of course, it could be a different one. In life, <laughs> um, I'm not as moody. And um, yeah, so I'm going to talk to my doctor. I'm seeing him on the 26th. So I'm going to see okay. him and talk to him about it. I That's a good idea if you're passing out in a store. It's really good to talk to somebody who I know loves me and cares. Because Her grandmother? I just needed to talk to somebody. Okay. I'm not doing well. Um, yeah. With my food addiction. Oh, she does seem really I down. I really want to. I'm so miserable. Food addiction is hard. I'm miserable. Like, I. She seems it. My mood is visibly worse. Like, she noticed. And mm. Listen to your grandmother. You know, grandmothers have a lot of wisdom. And, you know, it's good to have somebody who loves and cares for you there's things going on in my life some things i can't right? talk about with you if you guys. have family um you know so, take yeah. take full advantage anyway, of that fact you um, know some of us don't so have family i'm gonna follow up Monday to turn to i'm just gonna put this whole i had some dates and some bananas okay and honestly the thought of more sugar makes me want to throw up even if it's from fruit so eat something savory <laughs> give that up and give what up the diet <clears throat> the diet that you were just talking just, about five minutes ago not even think about it i overthink things i'm just not gonna think what? i'm just gonna do <laughs> or give up the do fruit the doctor's plan. do the doctor's plan day by day because i feel like if i get to eat balanced meals it will i will wait wait wait, wait guys didn't she just say at the beginning of the video that she wasn't going to do the doctor's plan and that she was going to do the guru's plan Eat fruits, vegetables, and such, and now she's what turning it around, and she's going to do the doctor's plan again. Because I'm very confused. Doctor's plan is probably smarter. Just saying. Binge less. Binge less. I have to accept that I have this disorder, and I was diagnosed with it. Okay. By my doctor mm -hmm. and the weight loss doctor. Mm -hmm. So she has yes, a weight loss I do doctor. Have eating disorder, and I do have an eating So why disorder. why aren't they helping her? I have her? to realize that that I can't just go on a fruit fruit fast like a normal person a normal person doesn't do that and i mean normal people if they want to do like a fruit diet they maybe do it for a couple days but i don't think normal people eat fruit for like 28 um, days straight and nothing else 
I'm just I saying, I wouldn't do that. It's not healthy. Cycle many more times it's That's so a tiring. lot of fruit anyway, sugar, fruit really toast. And I feel lightheaded, actually, that I'm, I, wow. I'm really hungry. So I got something at Farm Boy. Farm Boy? Is that a store? Is that a restaurant? No. What's going on? But I'm going to eat some of... I got some... Um, it's a restaurant? I had to go in the car. Like, I'm going to eat some of this. Okay. It's a huge portion, but I'm going to split it. It's a huge it. portion? Um, <clears throat> yeah, split it if well, it's a huge... Are a lot of restaurants in the U.S. have huge portions. Way too big. So enough have, for, like, two uh, or three zucchini, meals. Broccoli, Okay, okay. Zucchini, broccoli, cauliflower, and mash, there's like potatoes? a little bit of mashed potatoes. Okay, it doesn't look so bad. It doesn't look so bad. It just looks like Swedish it's too meatballs. much, right, guys? And I know eating meat Swedish was meatballs. Everything I was talking about, and I do believe. That's why I deleted my community that, post. That's like what I it said, says like on the right screen. Now I just have to focus on doing what I can to lose the weight, and then maybe yes. once I have my disorder under control, I can worry, but I feel like I'm going to have this forever, so worry. I don't know about that. I can try I mean, to just most people with an illness right have it forever if it's chronic, but you know, I just have to kind of live with and it, see right? see that helps. Um, so, yeah? Anyway, guys, um, that's it for now. Um, Is it? Aww. I think I'll just end the video here, I guess. Okay, yeah, it says that, but there's still like five minutes left, so I bet she just does another clip in, in a different place or something, right? Just want to say, you know, chronic illness is difficult for all of us, whether it's an eating disorder or whether it's like COPD like I have or anything, you know? And like I was watching Kicking Geese's channel and her channel, she has MS. It's a chronic illness. It's going to be with her for life, but she seems to be doing with it the best she can and she has some setbacks and then she pops back out from it you know and if you have an eating disorder even if it's like you know the opposite end of the spectrum you still need to get somebody to support you on that because it is going to be there for your whole life you know I'm kind of a short one today i think the accountability project will have oh really to it's 17 minutes checking in every day and making an effort to stick to the doctor's plan mm -hmm. and the doctor's plan or the guru's plan? And that's honestly I'm so confused, guys. If there's a better video right for me to react to, please let me know. Really put me down for not working. And honestly, huh? it does. Not working. A lot of people don't work. Like kind of bad. Because hmm. I did have a job. I had a really, really, really good job. She and did? Because of my health problems, I sabotaged that. What was her job, guys? You have to. I didn't want to get up in the morning most days, and even shower. I don't either, but I do. Um, and when I was there, I would just like sometimes stare at the computer. Oh, okay. Just, Office like, job. So depressed, and it was hard to just walk around. <laughs> um, mm. So it wasn't an office job. Yeah, I need to get healthy. Okay. Yeah. Don't we so, all? So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. I want to apologize to you guys okay. because <laughs> those glasses. Oh my gosh, I love it. Being an ass in regards to Ooh. asking for accountability and then uh, uh, having an attitude about it, you know, like yeah. See, that's what I was saying. Channel, what that's I'm what I was saying. Do. Like people were telling me that and, she asks for accountability. You know, oh, it didn't pause. And then gets angry when people have an opinion or gives her some advice. And I hope she doesn't get mad at me because I'm not um, like blatantly against this woman or anything. I don't know much about her. I'm just now starting to watch her. But I'm just saying, like, if you want accountability from strangers and people on the Internet, you're going to get both ends of the spectrum with opinions, good and bad. Um, so I am. I do apologize about that. OK. Definitely. Sincerely, wholeheartedly, I am sorry. You Is she know, being genuine, guys? I had time to observe. My I don't know. I, I don't know anything about her, like and I said. I'm, I'm just learning. I pointed it out. And yes, definitely. Out? I asked you guys. Is she Canadian? One day. 
I got all your people up. pointed it out. Is, is she Canadian, guys? And I was doing that sounded Canadian to me. For with Why is it blurry? <laughs> did she blur that, or did so my computer like, do that? Nope, I'm doing it anyway. Oh no, it's back to clear now. And Mm hmm You know, it's not working out, so... It's not working you know, out. That, that's definitely owed to you guys. If it's not working out, you I might need to try a new you're way of doing journey, it. Whether you're okay. Like or not, you I, know? I don't like you or dislike you. I don't know you. I don't hate you. I'm just going through a really hard time. I'm just trying to find my way. I'm trying to... Yes. <sighs> trying to, to do a lot of things to fix my life basically um right. it's a lot a lot harder maybe concentrate on fewer things at once than I ever, I mean, I think you're I gonna get overwhelmed and your anxiety is gonna go through the roof if you, you know. try to do everything at once so i oh, know i'm guilty of that myself anyway, so i had that to eat yeah um tomorrow i will let you guys know I'll she's so quiet whatever i have for the rest of the I can't night. make it any louder. And I will. Oh, excuse me. I just feel so blah. Like I. You're gonna make me yawn. I don't like this feeling. Yawns are catchy. I'm, I'm tired. I've been on the pill now for about a month, so I'm oh? hoping that it's just a side effect, and that this is not what my permanent mood's gonna be. That seems like a really extreme side effect. The lack of anxiety is nice, but the down feeling is not. Sure. The tired feeling is not. The tired I'm sucks. I'm going to go home and just lay in bed mm -hmm. with my cats. And I don't need to be laying in she bed. She has cats. You know, I have a bad headache. Like, if I walk walk around, like, I wanted to go what for a walk. What is your story, I, guys? I Please share energy. with me. Like, I literally don't. Yeah, even to push myself to do it, I don't have any. I need to give. I have days like that. Like just walking around the store for a few minutes. Where even God, getting up is hard and makes me down. feel like I just need to go right back to sleep, so, but I don't do it because I'm not going to get nothing that's done. What I'm gonna do. You really have to try when you feel like that. But I can relate. It sounds like extreme to, fatigue uh, or like chronic probably, fatigue syndrome or something, but go home and do that. of course, I'm not going to try to yeah. igno diagnose somebody I don't so, know. So tomorrow, I'm going to hop back on the doctor. I'm not a doctor. Plan. Sunday tomorrow, so Monday I'm gonna make some phone calls, call the mm -hmm. weight loss doctor, make an appointment ASAP. Really? Didn't she say she already had a weight loss doctor, or is she just calling the one she already has? And, She's kind of uh, confusing, right? Tell the weight loss doctor I've been binging, and yeah, you know, like he even said, like I can give you a nutritional plan, but if you don't get your eating disorder under wraps, you're not going to really be able to follow it. Right, I agree. So I think that won't become as a surprise. The doctor can't do the work for well, you. First thing I'm going to do Monday is call the eating disorder clinic. Good like, idea. Is there any way? That's a good idea. I don't want to go to Psyche Merge for this. Psyche um, Merge? But, you know, and then I'll call my doctor. Psyche Merge, what is that? Doing that great. And anyway, I'll figure it out. It's just so like it's almost over. Humbling, begging for help, you know. Sometimes you but need anyway, help. Guys, Sometimes you gotta ask for help. I said that earlier, but no, this is really. If it's, it's humbling, it's not and, nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, I will uh, see you guys in tomorrow's video. So thank you for listening. I'm gonna find a more exciting video to react to next time, guys. This is crazy. I guess it's over. That's a really odd way to end a video, guys, but. Well, I'm sorry, guys, if that wasn't the most exciting Chantel video, but if you guys have any suggestions on what I should react to from her or anybody else, let me know, all right? Because, yeah, I don't know what that was supposed to be. She was just sitting in a car talking. I'm sorry, guys. But, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.